Hello, I am Bookface, and today we're talking about the cru- the demonetized virus. You know which one. I don't know the whole lot about the situation. I'm very stupid, so I'm just gonna try to hammer in the important stuff a little, a little further. Wash your hands. Keep yourself isolated. Have enough food and water on standby so that if you get sick, quarantine yourself. I only said food and water, not toilet paper. Shocking, I know. And uh, just generally, don't be stupid. <laughs> But because of all that's going on, this video is all about creatures that, in some way, can heal illnesses. If anyone's looking for mythical creatures, um, maybe, maybe put these at the top of your list for now. And with all that out of the way, let's jump right in. Woo! First up we have the Caladrius. This is a creature coming from Roman myth, one of the few things they didn't plagiarize from Greek myth. It was a solid white bird that lived in a king's house. If the king became sick, the Caladrius would absorb the sickness into its body, making one for the team. Good job. Then it would fly out and disperse the illness amongst everyone. Wait, that's not a good thing. Some other interpretations, though, it would instead take the illness and fly it into the sun for the illness to be burned up. Yeah, that's better, but I've got my eye on you. When bestiaries were later Christianized, the Caladrius was believed to be symbolic of Jesus. Because the Caladrius taking the illness was similar to Jesus taking the sins of the world. Gotta love the Jesus bird. This is related to a belief that if a bird looked at a sick person in the face, right in the eyeballs, then that person would live. But if it didn't, then they were gonna die. What's the diagnosis, Dr. Bird? Hmm, ooh, you hate to see it. So I'm not going to see it. Get this out of my face. Next up we have the Simurg. This creature is a mythical bird-like creature from Iranian myth. It is also known from iconography of Georgia, Armenia, as well as other areas part of the Persian Empire. It was believed to be a bird large enough to pick up an elephant or a whale. Uh, he's... He's pretty big. It resembled a peacock with the head of a dog and claws like a lion. They also closely resembled a mythical bird from Arabia called the Anka. It believed to be so old that it saw the universe be destroyed three times over. Just got this thousand yard stare like the Blemia. But in every picture that I've seen of the Blemia, they look like they've seen some stuff. Their eyes are just not up. That, those are not happy eyes. Boy, my audio really sucked back then. It's so much better now, isn't it? Some also believed that the Simmer lived for 1,700 years before plunging itself into fire to be reborn, much like a phoenix. The name Simmer is thought to have a connection to the word 30, and because of that, its name is interpreted in various ways to either mean something like 30 colors, because it's a very colorful bird, so you may, you know, it could be 30 colors, or 30 birds, because some myths say that it had 30 birds that followed it around. It's just 30 birds wearing a trench coat trying to look like a really big bird. This bird had wisdom and provided peacefulness and its feathers had healing properties. It roosted in nests made of the mythical plants Yao, Kerena, and Hom, not Ham, Hom, which brought healing. And the Simurg would purify the water and the land. Dang, even the dirt's getting sick. Lastly, we have the Ramidraju, which is a creature from Cantabrian myth, probably. Uh, it's very notable that this creature had no reliable information I could find about it anywhere. But stuff about it is all over the place, so I'm... I'm gonna say that's a kind of decent source. So many people know about it, so it either exists somewhere and I just can't find it, or it is the best hoax on the entire internet. The creature was born from a weasel every 100 years. Ah yes, the legendary weasel, truly majestic. It had a long, slender body like a snake, covered in bright green fur, had bright yellow eyes, and a hawk-like nose. It would use this nose to dig deep holes in the ground. It was most known for its skin, which could heal anything. You just have to, you know, kill it with skin. But you know. It's worth it, isn't it? And it's desire for gold. So that's why it's digging. I'm assuming that the reason it's desire for gold is valuable is because it'll find gold for you. But maybe people just want a really greedy weasel. And that's why it's so valuable. Hey, what can you tell me about this creature? Oh, it's a real greedy boy. Yes, I love it. And there we have three creatures known for healing. Important thing to keep in mind after this video, though. Chances are none of you watching have access to one of these creatures. Uh, I mean, if you do, let me know. So instead of trying to want one of these things to heal you, uh, your best bet is to just try not to get sick using the steps everybody's telling you. And if you are sick, be sure you try not to get anyone else sick, because that's an important thing. And just real important thing to remember, there isn't just some way you can magically prevent yourself from getting sick or cure yourself if you are sick. So stay smart, stay safe, be healthy. This is a real serious situation going on, so be sure to take things seriously. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.